Petlin Vinamia Phenomena Vieira fumbles the bag against Raquel Pennington. This was supposed to be her title shot. She was supposed to win this fight and then be next for Amanda Nunes as the number two uh, bandweight in the world who has two wins over two former champs like Misha and Holly. But she risked it here and went backwards, took a risk, and it did not pay off. And it was against Raquel Pennington, uh, which I knew the risk of this matchup going backwards against the tough, resilient Raquel Pennington. Pennington may not be the best in the division, but she is difficult as hell to deal with. She sh like Vieira should have been in there with Juliana Pena or Arena Aldana or Amanda Nunes. They gave her Raquel Pennington and she lost. Split decision, close fight. Uh, I thought Ketlin should have won, though I had her winning the first and the third. Round one based off damage, landing bigger shots. Round two, I'll give it to Pennington because, you know, she outstruck her a little bit. Round three... Catlin had damage, but then she also had good cage control. I counted that. So I thought Vieira beat um, Raquel Pennington, but just barely. But that's a damn shame for Catlin Vieira. Looks like no title shot anytime soon. But then this performance alone kind of shows that it doesn't matter because she was never going to be ready for Amanda Nunes. Nunez smokes the girls that um, Ketlin is struggling with. Like, Nunez smoked Misha, smoked Holly, dominated Pennington and made her quit. Like, she showed Pennington that she's not on her level. Ketlin couldn't do that. So, close fight with Misha, Holly, uh, and then Pennington. I don't want to hear MMA math doesn't work. It just shows the levels in which both Vieira and Nunez are at. Vieira just ain't there. So this decision really saved Ketlin Vieira, honestly, from getting destroyed, dog walked by Amanda Nunes, back to the drawing board. So what's next for um, Pennington? I mean, she already beat Irene Aldana four years ago. So I guess they're going to bump Raquel up the rankings ahead of Irene. Please don't tell me this means that, uh, please don't tell me this means Pennington's going to get a shot over Aldana. Please don't happen. The fight to make should be Pennington versus Pena. Make that fight middle of this year, maybe the spring, early summer. Uh, and Aldana can get her title shot at Amanda Nunez. She's long overdue. And then the winner of Pennington Pena can fight the winner of Nunez Aldana. Boom, problem solved. And make Pennington versus Pena a five rounder. It's a benefit for Pena. I don't want that risk of Juliana losing in a three-round decision to Raquel Pennington. In a five-rounder, Pena can put the cardio and pace on her and get the win over Raquel Pennington. But do not give, please do not give Pennington a title shot. No one wants to see Pennington versus Nunez too. We already seen Amanda Nunez outclass or destroy her over five rounds. Aldana hasn't had her chance to fight Amanda yet. I think the fans would rather see Nunez in there with a fresh opponent like Aldana, who's had some impressive stoppages lately. It just, it makes the most sense. Or maybe you could do a rematch with Pennington and Aldana, but I'd rather just see Aldana get the title shot right now. Get it over with. I know what this means. They're going to bump uh, Pennington to number two and Aldana is going to be stuck at number four. Although I think when the rankings update, Irene should be two, uh, Pennington should be three. And Holly needs to get her ass out of the top five. It's not fair that Holly can stay ahead of Irene in the rankings just because she beat Aldana. But they can't give Aldana the same treatment. She beat Ketlin. Why couldn't she have been ranked ahead of her? Makes no sense, right? But if I'm the maker of these rankings, Aldana deserves the number two spot. Or at least maybe number three in the rankings. But they're going to drop Vieira to three. And they're going to drop Holly to four. And Aldana is going to get bumped to number five, which... Is stupid and unfair, but as long as Aldana's title shot is secured, then it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, who do you who do you guys score the fight for, Raquel Pennington or Kellen Vieira? And who do you think is next for a title shot? Who should get the title shot, Raquel Pennington or Irina Aldana? I mean, me personally, I think it should be a no-brainer. It should be Irina Aldana, but unfortunately, uh, I have no say in that. It's up to the UFC and the matchmakers. Let's hope they choose wisely. 
Uh, with that being said, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next one.